today we are going to be making a mandala out of cereal. So the main ingredients that you will need in order to do this are your actual cereal. You don't have to glue it down to a paper, but if you would like to save your artwork so that way you can hang it up at the end, you would also need white glue, paper, and a pair of scissors. You can also just do this activity where you just put the pieces out on the table and then you clean it up later. It's up to you on which one you prefer. Since I'm actually going to be gluing mine down, the first thing that I'm going to do is fold my paper diagonally from one corner to the edge until it lines up. This is going to help me end up making my paper into a square because mandalas are typically circles that are within a square form. So I took that corner all the way to the edge of the paper. I lined it up into a straight line and I'm going to press down diagonally this way. And then I'm going to cut right here on the edge, holding both papers together. And I am just going to follow the edge of my paper and cut this rectangle side off. And when you open your paper up, you have a square. So from here is where I'm going to actually start building my mandala. Um, mandalas, since they are a circle, I'm going to start and kind of work radially, clockwise, counterclockwise, either way. And I'm also going to focus on a line of symmetry going straight down the paper and across the paper as well. So what's on one side of my paper should match what's on the other side of my paper and top and the bottom, and it'll work in a nice circle. <music> see I have started with my symmetrical line going vertically this way I have a horizontal line going this way and so now I'm gonna make sure that whatever is on the right side of my straight line going vertically matches what's on the right or on the left side of my vertical line and what is on the top of my horizontal line will match what is on the bottom of my horizontal line as I did say, mandalas typically are circles that are inside of a square. So since our paper is the square, I also want to start thinking about how my shapes and my designs are going to move in a circle around it. So I also wanna make sure that whatever I'm doing here would match also what is on this side diagonally going both ways. So essentially, whatever I put here, whatever kind of design should match going all the way around. As you can see, I've also done the same pattern vertically and horizontally. So it starts with Cheerios, chocolate, Cheerios peanut butter and vice versa. So I'm going to continue that as I work in a circle, as I work left to right and top to bottom. <music> 